Welcome to those of you who have uh, joined us in the room. Welcome to those who are joining us online. We're excited to have uh, not only just a very warm and uh, welcoming evening service, which they tend to be, but we're excited to have special guests with us this evening that will highlight our time together and give us just a wonderful time uh, to celebrate Jesus and what He's done for us. Before I introduce them, I want to make you aware of some things that are coming up at First Baptist Church this Christmas season. Hard to believe that Christmas is right around the corner. November here is a couple of days away, and you know what that means. It's time to think about that glorious time of the year, the best time of the year in Christmas season. So there's several events here at First Baptist. Each Sunday night is marked by a special service, musical service, uh, the a Sunday following Thanksgiving, so the last Sunday of November, we're having a hymn sing in this room, piano, organ, and your voices as we sing the great hymns of the faith and celebrate that first Sunday of the Christmas season. Uh, the second evening, uh, second Sunday evening of the season, first in December, will be our children's musical as we once again celebrate the birth of Christ through their voices and their creativity. Uh, the second Sunday in uh, December, so December the 11th, is a special missions and worship night. And special guest, Michael O'Brien and the Photo Sisters will be with us that evening for a concert. Uh, Michael O'Brien is a tenor uh, who uh, used to travel with New Song and a solo artist now. The Photo Sisters are studio musicians from Nashville, violinist and cellist, beautiful voices as well. They'll be sharing beautiful Christmas music that evening on the 11th. And then the 18th, December the 18th, Heather Payne, former lead singer of Point of Grace, will be highlighting the evening with the choir and orchestra for a spectacular night of, uh, of music for the season. So lots going on here for this Christmas season. Of course, Christmas Eve, we'll have a special service here. And then Christmas Day, we'll be worshiping together here on Christmas morning. It's a Sunday this year. How about that? There are people excited about that, and uh, we're thankful that there is some excitement. Maybe you're just excited that it's time to hear some Southern gospel music. And I know there's people in the room who are, there you go. Yes, we are very thankful to have the Mark Trammell Quartet with us this evening. Uh, had a great day with them already. This group has existed for 20 years now. They began as a trio uh, and then expanded the budget and added a fourth guy. And uh, so now quartet, the Mark Trammell Quartet. Of course, Mark Trammell is a name that's synonymous with uh, many wonderful things in gospel music, uh, having sung with the Kingsmen, uh, with the Cathedrals, Greater Vision, and Gold City. So uh, any one of those groups would have been a, a career stop. He did all four and then started his own. And so we're very thankful to have him, truly a legend in uh, gospel music, and then his group is just fantastic. We heard them this morning, a full night for us this evening. So I'm going to pray, and then we're going to uh, welcome the Mark Trammell Quartet. So let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for the gift of music. Thank you for the gift of faith that writes the music, that performs the music, that hears the music. Thank you for the precious gift of your Son, our Savior, for whom this music is offered and about whom these songs will tell the story, the old, old story, the story of Jesus and His precious blood. Thank you for the gift of life. And we celebrate that life this evening. We celebrate that life in that we have life and that more abundantly. We celebrate it in that we gather together in a fellowship of saints, those who are called Christians because we are called by the name of Christ. We celebrate it through music, an opportunity to demonstrate through beautiful sounds, gorgeous melodies, rich harmonies, and exciting rhythms the precious life that you've given us, and the testimony of faith. Would you be glorified tonight, and would you edify your people in Jesus' name? Amen. Would you please join me in welcoming the Mark Trammell Quartet? Now when the rich and the poor get together with the Lord, Get together, get together with the law. Well, they will treat each other like sister and brother when they all get together with the Lord. Now when they all break. 
praise God. Get together. Hallelujah. When they all get together with the law, well, they will treat each other like sister and brother. When they all get together with the law. Now when the tall and the small get together with the Lord, get together Get together with the Lord. Well, now the weak are no longer afraid of the stronger when they all get together with the Lord. Well, when they all get together, when they all get together with the Lord, well, they will treat each other like sisters. And we're all the same, they say Let's see our many friends And our loved ones on that day We'll all be so happy When St. Peter sends his way Then we'll sing, sing Oh, now when we all get together Interrupted by a trumpet and the shine, the shine. 
Rejoicing all the way. It's given time for Jesus in the clouds. So don't lose hope, for joy is nearing. This we know. For this could be the day It must be leaving time For I can see the signs Interrupted by a trumpet And a shout The cry to heaven's gate Rejoicing all the way It's leaving time for Jesus in the clouds It must be leaving time For I can see the signs Interrupted by a trumpet and a shout, we'll fly to heaven's gate, rejoicing all the way. It's leaving time for Jesus in the cloud. It must be leaving time for I can see the sign. Interrupted by a trumpet and a shout, we'll fly to heaven's gate, rejoicing. Jesus in the cloud. We'll fly to heaven's gate, rejoicing all the way. It's leaving time for Jesus in the cloud. It's leaving time for Jesus in the cloud.
Thank you so much. What a joy it is for us to get to be in Jacksonville, Florida all day today and to be able to be with you this evening. And thank you, uh, Dr. Lambert. Thank you. And uh, all of you, Scott, uh, uh, Joe, everybody that's been involved in this today, thank you so much for the opportunity. Let me ask you this. How many of you have never seen this bunch before tonight? If that's you, raise your hand. Okay, good. I'll do this the proper way real quick, like if I may. This one right here is our tenor singer. He is the only Yankee on the platform right now. <laughs> he is from uh, Huntington, Indiana, right outside of Fort Wayne. And Surely you don't know where Huntington, Indiana is. <laughs> okay, well, uh, but that's where he's from, and uh, we're very proud of him. He's been with us for three years. Uh, some very exciting things have happened in his life in those three years. Back in uh, early 2020, after working all of these years, he had his very first nine-and-a-half-month paid vacation. Yes. We did, too. <laughs> and I thank God we did. That means we all got to eat during that horrible time. But uh, God provided. The other thing is last year he said, I do. <laughs> the thing we're happy about is she said it as well. <laughs> he, uh, we were at First Baptist. Doubt, I'm going I'm, I'm to tell it. Some of these folks have connections out there. First Baptist Church, Dallas, uh, uh, early August uh, for their old-fashioned revival meeting that they have had for many years, every year in August. And uh, we were privileged to get to be there a couple of nights, and I introduced the guys. And right after the evening service was over, uh, a gentleman, older gentleman, came up to the table, and he didn't, he didn't go to him. He came to me for whatever reason and said, uh, hey, Mark, I want to ask you about the tenor. I said, yes, sir. What is it? He said, you said that he's a newlywed. I said, yes, sir, that's correct. He's been married for a year. I said, yes, sir. He's 42 years old. I said, yes, sir, that's correct as well. Is this his first marriage? <laughs> I said, yes, sir, it is. He said, what an idiot, and just walked away. <laughs> You can't make stuff like that up. I mean, it, it, and there I stand in that beautiful foyer at First Dallas, <laughs> laughing out loud at this man whom I had no idea who he was. But uh, I, didn't think, I didn't think he was right, by the way. I, I, but I want you to know that this gentleman right here is one of the finest singers in all of gospel music today, and we're honored that he's a part of us. His name is Stephen Adair. Welcome, Mr. Stephen, tonight. <laughs> Next in line is a young man that I know very well, and uh, uh, I've been married 44 years, and this is what my wife and I have to show for 44 years of hard work right here. <laughs> he, he is 38 years of age. He is our lead singer and songwriter, the proud father of the three most perfect children in the entire world. In fact, one of them was born last Tuesday night. Yeah. And uh, the older brother, sister and brother are uh, spoiling that little one already. He flew in last night so he could be with us today. We've been out on the Gospel Music Hymn Sing Tour, fall tour this week. And so he uh, joined us late last night, and we're glad that he's able to get to be here. And... Uh, when I get home, one of the first things I'm going to do is to visit my new perfect grandson. I'll just tell you that. But his name is Nick Trammell. Welcome, Mr. Nick, tonight, all right? Our bass singer is also a newlywed, and uh, he's been married for three and a half months. No, three months and three weeks. He's been with us for three months and two weeks. And, uh, yeah, so he got married the week before he came here. 
and a fine singer, loves the Lord, loves his family, and when he got married, unlike Stephen, when he got married, he also had an immediate family of three children. He's the idiot, I'll just tell you that. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Don't send letters, please. Uh, no, I, I love picking at him, but I will tell you this. I'm proud of a man that will take uh, the misfortunes of a family and things that have happened to them that uh, none of us would ever hope to dream on anyone. And God used this man uh, to make that family happy and whole, and I will tell you he has done that. And I'm grateful for it. And uh, he is from Salisbury, North Carolina. And uh, I will tell you that we're thrilled to have him. His name, what is your name anyway? I'm just, I'm just, Will Lane. Welcome, Will, tonight. <laughs> Last but not least is our piano player. He is 24 years of age. He is from the thriving metropolis of Arab, Alabama. And yes, that is a real place. If you ever decide to go there on vacation, I highly recommend you call Trevor and let him know that you're on the way and he will meet you at the stop sign. <laughs> I want him to play for you tonight. I'm not gonna pick on you. I want you to play for these folks. And uh, uh, one of the most talented people I've been around in many, many years. And uh, the thing that I love about him is he loves his music. He loves his family. He loves his Lord. And uh, if you will let him, he will love you as well. His name is Trevor Conkle. Welcome, Trevor, tonight as he plays for you, all right?
And now you know why we didn't want him to play your piano, don't you? <laughs> what a phenomenal young man. I, I will tell you this, uh, those who were able to, anybody able to see his left foot while he was playing? Okay, good. We figured out, he's been here five years, we figured out about uh, a month into uh, his tenure here that if we nailed his left foot to the floor, he couldn't play the piano at all. <laughs> There's some that like the real old traditional quartet style music here in the room tonight and they've already told me that they wanted to hear some of it so we're going to try to do a couple of things like we did uh, 48 years ago when I started doing this <laughs> that's true actually um, and it's very it, for me if, if I may have a just a brief moment of personal liberty for me it is a special time to be in this room uh, because I was here in the late 1980s with a group known as the Cathedral Quartet. And, yeah, yeah. Precious times for me in my life, and we wouldn't be doing what we're doing today if it were not for God allowing me to be a part of the lives of those great men. Um, but uh, also, another very special thing is um, this was my first time to sing after this young man was born. And this is his first time to sing after his son was born Tuesday night. So that's a little bit ironic, wouldn't you think? Um, but I, I, want, I want to do this in, uh, in honor of Glenn and George and the cathedrals, but also dedicate it to Joe Collins, a dear friend all of these years. And uh, this song was written in the early 1960s by George Yance, and uh, some of you may know it. Let's see if you do. Let's, let's see. Oh, 
For a soul in need of hope Trapped in sin's delusion And the flames are growing close Friend, there is a doorway That will take you to the light And escape from the suffering So run with all your mind Run, run to the door Run to the refuge of the Lord, run to the Savior. See what the cross is for, no time to wait. No need to hesitate, come find what you're longing for, run to the door. On the other side there's safety, on the other side there's grace, inside that door of mercy there's a Savior smiling face. Join the blood of believers and the hope beyond compare, you'll not regret surrender when you breathe that brand new air. Run to the door. For no time to wait, no need to hesitate. Come find what you're longing for, run to the door. This loving cross is the pathway to sights never seen before. His empty tomb is the gateway. Yes, Jesus is the door. Jesus is the door. Or unto the door, unto the refuge of the Lord, unto the Savior, or unto the Savior. See what the cross is for, no time to wait, no time to wait, no need to hesitate. Come find what you're longing for, run to the door, run to the door, or unto the door. Or unto the Savior, see what the cross is for. No time to wait, no time to wait. No need to hesitate. Come find what you're longing for. Run to the door. No time to wait, no time to wait. No need to hesitate. 
Come find what you're longing for, run to the dawn. You'll find what you're longing for, run to the dawn. Run to the dawn. Amen. Days I feel like a disciple when I'm out on the waters of life and I'm caught by surprise as the billows toss me from side to side. Oh, what if the waves that I'm facing God has every intention to use? to steer my course and destination and move me closer to better shore better shore I'm a whole knock knowing God can even use a star take me to better shore the next I faced a mighty tempest Well, I know that I've been here before And I look for the good God has promised Trusting He has in store Better sure Better sure He loves what I can see Better sure Better sure Than I'm a whole knock Knowing God can even Take me to better shore. Could it be what I'm going through would carry me right on to better shore? Better shore. Better shore. I'm holding on. No one God can even use a storm. Take me to better shore. Better shore. Better shore. Better shore. Amen. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. I want to. Uh, Stephen to come and sing a song for you that is on our uh, latest project and uh, oh by the way I I'm not going to do a commercial tonight we do have ministry items out at the table you've never had a musical group come through here that didn't have something for you to take home with you we're no different than any of the rest of them I will tell you this that we have two new pieces of product and for one twenty dollar bill you can take home both of those uh, and uh, we have thumb drives is that Right? We've got thumb drives? Thumb drives, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that boy worries me. Um, but we do have those. And, and um, in fact, Trevor has a brand new piano solo project that is on CD and thumb drive. And our new project, in fact, we have two projects on our new thumb drive. And uh, some of you are looking at me like, what is that? Well, I'll just tell you real quick, like, what it is is uh, something I can't explain. And I don't even want to, to be real honest. Uh, technology has walked off and left me, and uh, I'm happy about that. Perfectly happy about it. Um, but there, I'm told that in these new cars, the last two or three years, there is this thing called a USB port. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you say, I have no idea where that would be located in my car. I can tell you this, if you take your grandchildren to the car with you, they'll show you. <laughs> That's not a joke either, okay? Uh, but uh, you know we have all that available uh, out at the table, and you can avail yourselves of that. But this song is on our latest project, and I will tell you, um, if we had five minutes to sing to the world, and they would actually listen for five minutes, 
I would take that five minutes to sing this song because we are living in a day and time when so many people have so many opinions about what we need to do to make the world a better place or to make the world like it once was. Well, sometimes that's a contradictory statement because if the Bible is true, which I honestly believe that it is, things are going to have to go a certain way right before Jesus returns. It just has already been told that it's going to be like that. But we're also to occupy until he comes. This song has an opinion. And we believe that this song is probably the best place to start. If you listen to the message, you might agree with what it says. Let's just see if you do. Let's led astray The road that's wide is getting wider Where's the church and what's the plan Can we reach a generation If we try I know we can Take the gospel to the nation What we need is an old time revival one that lasts till the spirit comes down we've had enough of this world trying, trying to take, take away the bible it's time the church stood its ground we need to cry out to god for forgiveness we need to spend a lot more time, time on our knees we need to turn away from sin Look to Jesus once again Yeah, that's what we need Amen. If I could take the time to tell The whole world my story You'd hear about the times I failed you see a past of faded glory, but then I take you to a place where my soul was set free. My sins forever were erased when Jesus gave me what I Jesus wants again. What we need is an old time revival, one that lasts till the spirit comes down. We've had enough of this world trying to take away the Bible. It's time the church stood its ground. It's time the church stood its ground. Church to this ground. What we need is an old time revival, one that lasts till the spirit comes down. We've had enough of this world trying to take away the Bible. It's time to church to this ground. Turn away from 
sin Work the daily ones again Yeah, that's what we need What we need is an old time revival With thunder loud and tempest roll, there was no way out, and it shook my soul. Fear was raging on every turn. What was God teaching? What could I learn? Could it be when I am blinded by life's cold and angry rain? He is proven to provide each time he seems so far away. I may not understand, but I'm so glad I trusted in the Lord. For I'm still standing after the storm. When clouds are down and winds have changed, toss you about and shake your faith. Trust the one who knows how and why, and when you're safe through, you'll testify. Could it be when I am blinded by life's cold and angry rain? He is proving to provide each time you seem so far away. I may not understand, but I'm so glad I trusted in the Lord. For I'm still standing after the storm. Praise the Lord. Still standing after the storm. That's what that song says. And uh, we thank God that we are. I'll just tell you. We truly do. Um, 
You're trying to kill your dad tonight. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah. I don't have enough oxygen to do that one again, so let's move on. This, uh, uh, let us do one more before we say goodnight to you. I love uh, the message in this last song. And it is still after, well, we've been singing this song 11 years as this group. I've known the song since the uh, um, early 70s when it was written. Everywhere that we go, people still want to hear the song, and I understand why. Uh, it's the hope that we have as believers. The reality that when Jesus was looking at those that he loved and talking to them, it comes right out of John chapter 14, and it says this. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also. And then there were those that asked, how do we know where to go? And Jesus looks at them and says, I am the way. That's how you know the way and the truth and the life and the hope that we have is in Jesus. The hope that we have now is in Jesus. The hope that we have in eternity is in Jesus. Our prayer for you tonight is when he does come and you looking at me, look, look at me real close when I say this. I couldn't mean this anymore saying it any other way. When Jesus says, I will come again. Write it down. He's coming. Our prayer is when he does, you will go with us to spend eternity in heaven. Jerry. 
Patriots rumble. I can see the marching 